Today's video is on trapezoidal rule. So this topic is from numerical differentiation and integration. So according to the trapezoidal rule, integral x0 to xn f of x dx is equal to h by 2 times of y0 plus yn. So the sum of the last first and the last ordinates plus 2 times of the remaining ordinates that is y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus and so on by n minus 1. So here we have to evaluate integral 0 to 1 root over 1 plus x cube dx taking the h value as 0 0.1. So we have to take the first value as 0 and h h value that is x naught plus h. The next value will be 0 0.1. So we have to keep on adding 0 0.1 until the upper limit comes that is 1. So, here n value is equal to b minus a by h that is 1 minus 0 by 0 0.1 which is equal to 10. So, we have to calculate all these 10 values. So, here y value is equal to root over 1 plus x cube. So, for each and every value. So, here x is equal to 0. Root over 1 plus 0 cube is again 0. The next one here is 0 0.1 cube. plus 1 root the value here is see here this is 1 point this is 1.0049 the next one here is 0 0.2 cap 3 this is plus 1 root the value here is this value I am writing like this 1.00 this is 39 and the next value here is 0 0.3 cap uh, cube plus 1 root. Here the value here is, this is 1 point, this is 0, 1, 3, 4. And the next one, so we have to frame our own values, that is 0, 0.4 cube plus 1 root. So this value is equal to, this is uh, 0, 0.3, so this is 0, 0.5. So, this value is nothing but this is 1.0, this is 315 and the next one is 0 0.5 cube plus 1 root. The value here is, this is 1.0606. Next one is 0 0.6 cube plus 1 root. The value here is, this is 1.10272. And the next value here is 0 0.7 cube plus 1 root. The value here is, this is 1.15887. The next one is 0 0.8 cube plus 1 root. The value here is, this is 1.22963. The next value here is 0 0.9 cube plus 1 root the value here is 1 point this is 1.31491 and this value is this is 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 root this is 1 point 1 point this is 41421 after getting all these values see here this is 1.00 this is 1.0134 this is 1.035 so after getting all these values, so we have to name it as this is y0, this is y1, this is y2, y3, y4, y5, y6, this is y7, y8, y9 and this is y10. So according to the trapezoidal rule, integral 0 to 1 root over 1 plus x cube dx value is nothing but this is h by 2 times of so we have to add up the first value as well as the last value and two times of the rest of the values the ordinates that is 1 y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 plus y5 plus y6 plus y7 plus y8 plus y9. So that will be the answer. So what is our h value? <coughs> h is nothing but so this value is nothing but 0 0.1. So, this is 0 0.1 by 2. First and the last value. The first value is 1. And the last value here is 1.41421. Plus 2 times of the remaining values I am writing. That is 1.0049. Plus this is 1.0039. This is 1.0134. 
this is 1.0315 plus so here I am that is that is 1.0606 plus that is 1.10272 this is 1.15887 plus this is 1.22963 plus this is one point this is three one four nine one so until here we have to calculate so this value will be see here so this is zero point one divided by two if i add one this will be two point this is four one four two one plus two times so see i'll keep on adding all these values that is one point zero zero four nine plus this is one point zero zero three nine plus this is 1.0134 plus this is 1.0139 after that 34 so this is uh, one see here just i'll do once again that is 1.0049 plus this is 1.0039 plus this is 1.0134 plus this is 1.0315 plus this is 1.0606 plus this is 1.10272 plus this is 1.15887 plus this is 1.22963 plus this is 1.31491 the value here is 9.92043 so into 2 plus this is 2 point this is 41421 into 0.1 divided by 2 the value here is see here the value i am writing for integral 0 to 1 that is 1 plus x cube dx value x cube into dx value is equal to this is 1.11275 so which is approximately that is 1.11 this is 3 so this is the value of integral 0 to 1 root over 1 plus x cube of dx so this is so simple so if you keep on filling all these table and we have to label it as uh, y not till y10 and in this formula if you substitute you will be getting the answer so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching and i'll be uploading many more problems regarding this series so please have a look at those please practice definitely you can score more